Hello, this is Michael Pirelli from Constep, and welcome to 10 to 5, where we'll learn about a specific topic, complete with five new ideas in 10 minutes or less. This installment of 10 to 5 is on gimbal walks. Today's presenter is Tom Southworth, only consultant from Constep. Tom, I'll turn the floor over to you. Take it away. Thanks, Mike, and thanks everyone for joining me today. Let me start off by asking you a question. Have you heard of the word gimbal before, and if you have, what does Gemba mean to you? Gemba is a Japanese word that means the real or actual place. Walking the Gemba, the real or actual place, is a key component of the Toyota production system and of any lean organization for that matter. The purpose of walking the actual place or the Gemba is to identify problems, non-value added activities or waste through a deliberate and focused observation of a particular area and to help resolve issues that are causing this waste. A gimbal walk provides the means for an organization's leadership to demonstrate commitment to lean, to engage the workforce in a discussion of the importance of lean to them as individuals and to the organization, to gain a better understanding of how, where, and when lean or continuous improvement efforts are succeeding and where they are not, to establish a standardized review process of continuous improvement projects, and to improve the likelihood that these improvements will be sustained. Now, who performs a gimbal walk? Senior leadership. A gimbal walk is a tool or device, if you want to call it that, that senior management or executives, especially C-level executives, use to take a deep dive into their respective organizations in order to understand what really happens day to day and to guide corrective actions. A gimbal walk is not management by walking around. Management by walking around is often mistaken for a gimbal walk, but management by walking around usually ends up just being management walking around. Now, many well-intentioned managers and executives use what they refer to as management by walking around in an honest and sincere attempt to stay connected with frontline workers. Unfortunately, though, most executives don't know how to make the best possible use of this time spent walking around, and this is because they don't know what the purpose of this walk really is. A gimbal walk is the C in the Plan, Do, Check, Act problem-solving model. It's going out and checking to make sure that standards are being followed, that problems are getting corrected, that processes are working the way they were intended to, and if not, to find out why. Now, frontline team members are usually very concerned whenever a senior executive shows up and starts asking questions, but can we blame them for feeling this way? What kinds of questions are usually asked when a senior executive shows up? Oftentimes, it's, who did this? And the way that that question is asked and the way it's perceived, it's usually considered to be a threat rather than an opportunity to start making improvements. During a gimbal walk, the questions that are asked should not be the typical, how are things today, but rather, why is this condition happening? You're looking to challenge your team members by getting them to think about what's happening and why and how it can be corrected. Another question would be to ask, who owns this value stream? Most times the answer is no one. If no one owns the value stream, then no one owns the responsibility for improving the processes in that value stream. There will be many opportunities to find a problem if one knows where to look. You may observe a process being done in as many different ways as there are people who are performing that process, and you need to ask why. Why is it being done differently by each person? Why is there no standard work sequence? You may see evidence of poor inventory management. You may see people searching for materials, equipment, tools, or information, and you need to ask why these items are not readily available to them. You may see equipment that is in less than ideal condition, and you need to ask why. Why is the equipment not being well maintained? You may see materials or even customers, clients, or patients waiting, waiting, and waiting. Why are they waiting? What's preventing them from moving through the value stream? What metrics are visible in the Gemba? And how do the team members in that value stream know whether or not those metrics, or more importantly, customer needs, are even being met? Do team members even know what those customer needs are? If not, how can they be expected then to even meet those needs? You need to do more than just ask questions though. You need to learn why problems are occurring. You do this by listening to the people who have to experience and deal with these problems every day. They'll have the answers that you're looking for and when you do ask, make sure that you are showing respect for that person and for the efforts that they're making to accomplish their job in spite of the waste, in spite of all the problems that you're seeing. These team members are doing their best to get the job done despite the obstacles that are in their way. 
your job is not to criticize, but to engage them in removing these obstacles. To get at the root causes of these conditions and problems, you need to be at the actual place, the Gemba. You can't observe a condition and begin to understand it unless you are actually there to observe it as it occurs. It's very easy to pass judgment, but you cannot begin to understand why your employees are doing what they're doing unless you're experiencing the pain for yourself and unless you understand why that pain is occurring. To understand the problem, you must first go to the actual place, the Gemba, where it's actually happening. See it happening and experience the effects of the pain for yourself. You must get the facts, all of the facts, and not make assumptions. You get those facts by asking challenging questions of the team members who are working in the actual place. Doing so will help you to grasp the entire situation, not just one small subset or snapshot of it, and this will enable you to make better, more informed decisions. Understanding what's happening, where it's happening, and why it's happening will help you, along with those who are working in the Gemba, to generate countermeasures and corrective actions to eliminate the problems you've observed. You'll need to guide these countermeasures through continuous follow-up, through first-hand ob observation, by returning to the Gemba as often as part of your continual improvement efforts. Go to the Gemba and check that these countermeasures and corrective actions are effective, and if not, use the information you've learned to generate new countermeasures and return to the Gemba often to continually monitor and improve the value stream. Go see, ask why, show respect, and follow up. Use the Gemba Walk as your standard work to observe, to understand, to learn, and to improve your organization's systems and processes in a continual effort to eliminate waste, improve flow, and drive a culture of continuous improvement. Thanks, Tom. We hope that you enjoyed this 10 to 5. Please don't forget to download the checklist for this program. Each checklist contains five new ideas regarding the presented topic. You can also view this and other 10 to 5s anytime by visiting www.comstep.org. Be sure to check back regularly as new 10 to 5s are added often. Thanks again for watching, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.